Hey, Brett Kitchen here. I am one of the directors of the film coming out, The Retirement Deception, and I'm really excited to be here today to have an interview with one of our executive producers, Justin Seitz. And he's here because he's really help, helping make sure that this message gets out to as many Americans as possible. And so, Justin, if you don't mind giving us a little bit of background of who you are, and then we'll jump into why this project was so important to you. Yeah, sure, Brett. I appreciate you having me on today. So I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm happily married to my wife, Amanda. We've been married nine years. We have a three-year-old son. Believe it or not, we just celebrated his third birthday, and we're super excited because he's now potty trained. So we're, mm -hmm. we're saving a lot on diapers now. Uh, I co-own an insurance and retirement advisory firm with my dad, Jack Seitz, based out of Loveland, Ohio, which is just outside of Cincinnati. And we focus on really Medicare and transitioning to retirement with a focus on retirement income planning. And so as you saw that this film was being made, what was it that, that got, your, got your interest up for getting involved in the project? Yeah, thanks for asking. So a previous project that you and Ethan were part of was the documentary, The Baby Boomer Dilemma. And I've been using that over the last year with a lot of my clients. Just a, it's a great documentary that helped educate people on the fact that there's other ways to have a successful retirement without being fully invested in the stock and bond market. So when I heard that you guys were coming out with a new film, I knew right away that I wanted to be involved. And this new film, I'm super excited about just because it's going to just kind of go forward with not only what the baby boomer dilemma had as far as the just showing how people can, again, have a successful retirement without the risk of the market and just show how to actually do that. And with this new film, it's going to be a way for people to see how actual people are enjoying retirement and not being stressed about their retirement planning. So obviously that, that addresses an issue that you help people with, which is retiring and, and having some sense of security. And it, why is that, why is the idea of not having to have all your money fully invested in the market important to you? What have you seen that, that makes that kind of an important message that you're trying to help people get educated on? Yeah, I'll tell you, with doing this for as many years that my dad and I have been doing this, I've been in the industry for about 12. And just on the Medicare side, just meeting so many people that are transitioning to retirement, they're trying to choose their Medicare plan, they really don't have any idea how to start withdrawing from 401ks, IRAs, they're not sure what's going to happen in the economy, if the market's going to go up, if it's going to go down, and just seeing their constant worry that's really the main reason that I became, tried to become an expert on retirement income planning and just helping people find other ways and being able to see people that I've met with and help them create a retirement income plan that is going to last their entire life without risk or downside or volatility to the market and just seeing how thankful they are and just how at peace they are in retirement has just been a motivating factor for me, not only in my business, but in getting involved in the film. Yeah, it's been really interesting as I've traveled the country and interviewed people that have had a successful retirement, the sense of calm that they have, just the peace of mind that they have, and the happiness that they are enjoying in retirement. They're really not that worried. Right. Um, what is your take on that? What, when you see uh, people retire, how do you define a successful retirement? Yeah, so... For a successful retirement, from what I've found with my clients is just knowing that they have enough guaranteed income coming in to cover their expenses and have what we call a surplus to be able to do what they want when they want, true financial freedom and just peace of mind knowing that that income's coming in every month, no matter what happens in the economy. They don't have to get up at 7 a.m. and see what's going on in the market that day. They can take a two-week trip and not even access the internet and they're just at peace knowing that that paycheck is going to be coming in every month for as long as they live. Well, contrast f for me, what I guess you would define as somebody who, who is maybe not, not enjoying that peace of mind. What does retirement look like for them? 
Yeah. So I actually have a couple friends that are investment advisors that focus more on the wealth accumulation and really the accumulation side, building as much asset center management and their clients are, are pretty fully invested in the market. And I know when there's a major market downturn, if one of my friends is on vacation, they're getting flooded with phone calls from clients that are literally crying on the phone saying, what am I going to do? Back in March of 2020, when the market went down 30% in the month of March because of the lockdowns, uh, that was a pretty trying time in the financial industry. And a lot of people didn't know if it was ever going to recover. And then, of course, the, the Fed created $5 trillion to pump it in the market, and that helped the market go back up. But uh, just being able for me to know that when I help someone develop a retirement income plan, that I know at least their monthly expenses are completely covered by that income coming in between social security, maybe a pension, and then through an extra income payment through an indexed annuity, typically, then I just, they, they don't call me. They, they love it. They, they know that their monthly income's coming in every month. And I'll hear, that, I'll hear from them maybe when they get their annual statement, it's just to say, hey, Justin, I just want to make sure this income's still coming in. And I say, yep, it's coming in every month. And, and I don't ever have to hear from a client say that they are going to have to go back to work because the market's down 30 or 40%. So not only is it a way for them to have peace, but it's a way for me to have peace as an advisor, just knowing that that I'm truly helping these people uh, live a retirement that they that they want, a retirement they dream of. Yeah, that's that's partially uh, well, one of the things that I've found just fascinating as I've traveled, I don't know how many tens of thousands of miles interviewing people who are retired uh, to hear what is important to them and what are they still worried about. And you mentioned one of the things there with the Fed pumping five trillion dollars into the market, of course, it was going to inflate the market because, you know, the, the 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 money has to go somewhere, right? And and it goes into assets a lot of times that uh, because people, you know, they don't need it. So what are they going to do? They're going to buy real estate. They're going to put it in the market. Uh, we even saw it in the crypto sphere where the the right. crypto market went up skyrocketing during these years of just this this liquidity everywhere. Um, and so what is your uh, kind of take on this inflationary period that we're going through right now? Because I think that is something that takes people's peace of mind away from them. Uh, certainly when I've talked to a lot of folks, they've been worried about their retirement being inflated away to the point where they have to lower their standard of living or they may even have to go back to work. In fact, I, I interviewed a couple in Texas where she did, she was retired for eight months and she had to go back to work mm -hmm. because of a combination of inflation and losses in their stocks. So right. she's now, you know, had the taste of what it would be like to have a really great retirement, but the whole time she was worried because inflation and stock market losses. So these right. are some of the threats I think people need to be aware of when it comes to retirement. What what is what have you seen with respect to inflation specifically? Yeah, with inflation, what I've really seen is people feel like they have to try and beat that inflation. And what happens is they end up getting into even riskier assets and investments. So if inflation is running seven, eight, nine percent on food, and food is one of the biggest budget line items of anyone's monthly budget, or property taxes or rent any of those things, then what they see is they, in their mind, they think, well, I got to, I got to make a 10 to 12% return just to make up on this inflation. And when they do that, they, they either invest even more heavily into the stock market. And by doing that, when there's any kind of downturn of 10, 20, 30%, it, it can cause someone to have to go back to work. And it's, it's pretty devastating for, for a couple or a, a single person that has to go back to work after they, yeah, they've tasted that retirement freedom and then, and then having to go back. So the inflation is one of those things that is uh, definitely a concern for, for most people, especially nowadays. Well, it's interesting that you put it that way because it, the, the traditional model is that to beat inflation, you must risk your money uh, at right. these levels to, to gain a higher rate of return. And that is kind of a, well, it's a dangerous cycle, isn't it? It is. It, it really is. Because you're then you start getting into trying to time the market 
and no one can time the market. Usually the people that try end up not even being able to beat the S&P 500 stock index. So once you try to start getting into that kind of stuff, and I, I have some people that I've talked to that said they were trying to get into day trading because they saw a TV commercial or a billboard that they went to the website and paid a fee. And now they're trying to day trade, which is about the riskiest thing you possibly do for anyone, let alone someone retired. So it's it's been one of those things that people are really searching for really another way. And that actually brings me on another reason I really wanted to get in, involved with this film is it actually coincides perfectly with a book that I've been writing this year called Retirement Revolution. And it's really all about breaking free from Wall Street and just the risks of investing in Wall Street and finding out that there's other alternatives. There's other ways that you can get market-like gains with, with downside protection without actually risking your money by investing in the market and then having the ability to create a lifetime income. So this film, I really believe when people watch it, they're gonna, they're gonna really open their eyes and see that there are other alternatives to, to being invested in, in Wall Street and the overall market. Well, yeah, that kind of, there's, there's two questions that I want to ask. One is you, you moved from inflation risk to stock market loss risk. And I want to, I want to touch on any other risks that people should be kind of aware of. And then what potential solutions do they have or how do you address that? So, so what are the, some of the other threats that people might want to be aware of as they're in retirement or preparing for retirement? Right. I'd say the biggest threat is not planning at all. I, I meet a lot of people that just have not planned for retirement. They've been putting their money into 401ks and, and, and 403bs and any type, of, any type of retirement account, but they're, they have no idea what it's invested in. They don't know what their monthly budget is. So planning for retirement is crucial. But other than that, longevity risk. And what that means is just people living longer. We're blessed to have advancements in, in the medical community where things that people died from 50 years ago, they're now able to live with like type two diabetes till they're 90, 95 years old with mm -hmm. proper um, treatment and medicine and exercise and diet and that kind of stuff. So people are living longer, which is a blessing. But on the other side, if you don't plan for that longevity of trying to bring in an income and having enough assets to cover that, those monthly expenses for the next 25, 30, sometimes 35, even 40 years after retirement, that's been a, a big risk for people is really trying to just figure out how to withdraw from those retirement accounts that they have and, and use that along with social security and maybe a pension if they were blessed to have a pension through their company. So that's really been one of the toughest things is trying to figure out how to have that lifetime income coming in. And that's really where an indexed annuity with what's called an income rider comes in because those are ways where you can take a portion of your retirement assets, get them out of the risk of the market and have a monthly income coming in for the rest of someone's life. And if they pass away early, then that income comes in for their spouse for as long as they live. And then if there's any money left over, it goes to the beneficiary. So it's a great way to not only have income while you're alive, but be able to have the ability to pass on a legacy uh, for their children. That's interesting uh, because one of the folks that I interviewed in Texas uh, she said that her mother and her grandmother both lived to over a hundred years old. Wow. And so she was looking at this saying, and this was actually the same woman who had retired and had to go back to work because she just didn't think that what they had was going to last her for 35 years. She's like, my husband has an illness. We don't know how long he's going to live but I'm probably going to live for a long time. And right. I don't want to be, uh, she's seen what her mother has to deal with uh, because her mother doesn't have anything but social security. Right. And so that's just not enough for most people to live on and have maintain any kind of standard of living. Right. And she's like, I just didn't want to put myself in that same spot. So, so that longevity thing that you've just mentioned was clearly on her mind. And the statistics that I see when I, when I review and study this are most people underestimate their lifespan by five to six years. Everybody thinks they're going to die sooner than they will, which is kind of weird when you think about right. it. Right. Uh, I'm not sure why we do that, but that's what the statistics show. Yeah. So uh, as we look at, uh, you know, some of the solutions you've mentioned, the annuities in the film, we actually explore 
real estate. We explore the traditional stock market methods. We, we, we explore the crypto markets that people seem to be enamored with. And then uh, some of the more, uh, I don't know what you would call them, uh, secure, safe type options like the annuities. But, you know, it's funny because oftentimes we'll, we'll, we'll ask people what they're doing for retirement and they'll use a myriad of different things. They're doing social, sometimes they have real estate, sometimes they have a pension. A lot of them end up with an annuity as well because they're trying to get that guaranteed income. And a lot of them will say, but, but an annuity is not all I do. They're almost ashamed of it. They, they don't want to, they almost don't want to tell us some right. of them react that way. Why is that? Why, why the kind of, uh, I don't know, almost they're ashamed of it. Right. That, that is so true. And I run into this all the time with I'm have, when I'm having a client meeting, trying to help someone plan for retirement. I have so many people that when they hear the word annuity, they, they have this bad connotation or bad perception with annuities. And it may because may, maybe because of some of the stories they've heard where an older person gets a lifetime income from an annuity, they die a month later, and then the insurance company keeps all the money. So with those annuities, those are actually called immediate annuities. And we rarely use those in our, in our advisory firm. So there are several types of annuities. There's actually four main types. There's another one called a variable annuity that has high fees and you're still in the risk of the market. But really it's because a lot of financial advisors out there who don't offer indexed annuities, they talk bad about them. So mm -hmm. these people that have a financial advisor, they've heard over the last 20 years, oh, don't go with an annuity, they're bad but they're never fully educated on how they work or the different types of annuities. So there's this bad connotation in the air with annuities. And this is really one, another reason why I wanted to get involved in the film, because I truly believe when people watch this film, they're going to realize that, wow, there are some types of annuities that can actually be a retirement financial powerhouse. Yeah. It really can, can alleviate a lot of the concerns in retirement and yeah, I think that's really what it comes down to is just the years and years of people hearing bad, bad stories about annuities, but it doesn't mean that all annuities are bad. It's so funny to me because when I'm sitting there across the table from folks and, and people will be able to see this when they watch the film, uh, they have this sense of just peace and happiness and satisfaction. And I'll ask every single one of them, what are you worried about now financially? And those who have these guarantees that you're talking about that know that they're getting a paycheck every month, they'll say nothing. I'm not worried about anything. All, all we're worried about is, you know, keeping us healthy and right. you know, spending time with our family and doing the things we love. And it's like, and then I'll ask them, how many people in the world can say that? How many people can answer that they don't have any financial worries. And it's gotta be just a tiny, tiny fraction of the population. So right. when, when we look at uh, why wouldn't you want to have that peace of mind in your life? Uh, why wouldn't you want to have that level of retirement success? I think most people do. They just are trying to figure out how do you get there? And that's right. the purpose of this film is to go not just interview, like you said, in the last film, we interviewed all the greatest experts, the guy who created the 401k, the former controller general of the entire United States of America, all of these PhDs and Nobel Prize winners. And all of that was really interesting, but they're not the ones living on the income. They're not the ones, they're not Bob and Mary who are out there retired trying to make it work right? They've, they've probably been fairly highly paid and highly compensated people most of their lives. And they're probably not really that dependent upon their savings to make sure that they have a standard of living. And so what we've done now, which is really fun, is just go straight to the source and say, what are you doing to retire? How do you like it? Is it making you happy or not? Right. So as you're, uh, as we're wrapping up here, uh, what are you hoping people will take away from watching the film? The main thing is that there's really another way to have a successful retirement and just to not have to rely solely on either just social security or possibly a pension combined with social security or trying to figure out how to withdraw money out of their investment accounts and, and just 
realize that there's another way and that there is a way that you can retire with true financial peace and alleviate a lot of the stress that comes with with financial stress. And, and that's going to help with people's health. It's going to help with them really living a retirement of abundance and not scarcity. Mm. When you're just trying to figure out how to cover your expenses every month, you're not going to take trips. You're not going to hang out with the grandkids. You're not going to take your daughter out to dinner and lunch. And, and just knowing again, that there are ways that you can take a portion of your retirement assets, if you have those and be able to create a lifetime income and have that, that true peace is really what I'm hoping people take away from the film. Well, I think they will, because that's what I've seen in so, so many of these interviews is that people look at the money they get from a pension and they're like, I love it. I love having that guaranteed money. They right. look at their social security and they love knowing that that's going to be in their account every single month. And, and so the, when they find these other sources that can give them that same thing, because most, most people these days aren't going to have pensions. Uh, and, and, and so they end up looking for a, a way to replace that certainty. And there are vehicles out there that can do it. Uh, they just need to be educated on it. And so anyway, that that's kind of where I want to leave it here is if somebody doesn't want to wait for the film, they, they want to try to grab onto some of that retirement abundance that you've mentioned. What's the best way for somebody to contact you if you see if they see to see if you can help them? Yeah, I'm always happy to talk to anyone. The easiest way is to call our office at 513-442-2000. Our website is tlcinsure.com. That's insure.com. And yeah, you can reach out either way. You can send me an email, justin at tlcinsure.com. I'm always happy to help, happy to answer questions, happy to set up a consultation either in person if you're local in the Cincinnati area, or we could do a, a Zoom or over the phone. And yeah, I'm happy to help any way that I can. Okay, great. We'll also put a contact uh, down below this video so they can fill that out and, and send it over to you if they want to get in touch with you. Okay. So, great. all right. Well, thanks for being on the podcast today. And we appreciate your support and getting this film off the ground. And we'll talk soon. Yeah, sounds good, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you.